Are we on the air? Yes, you are. You are. You are. You are. You are. Going back to your dad for a sec. Was your dad nurturing as far as you making it in the music biz? I mean, him being in it, he must have gone through a lot of trials and you know oh, struggles yeah. and whatever. So was he kind of like, you know what? Yeah, Glenn, that's a good idea. You do that. You know what? We okay. Now we getting into the real stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so basically, my father. Um, he went. He went through a, a, a lot of hard times because he was he was real passionate about music, mm -hmm. and often it's the ones that devote and and invest their whole heart that are often the ones that you know they get a little lost in the economics of the game. Right. And um, he understood that it was a business, but at the end of the day, his passion first and foremost was always wanting to sing and make music, and I can relate to that because I I kind of got caught in that myself, but um. He was pretty disappointed when, you know, I, this this industry, regardless of any era, it, it has a lot to do with the people that are around you, that as far as how they contribute to nurturing that talent or assisting that talent in getting from point A to B. Right. And you got to have people around you that actually care about your outcome, that they see long term, that it's not just, I'm going to get what I got to get right now. Right. You know, I'm going to just take these crumbs off the table real fast rather than let's let's put in the time let's put in the effort and this is something that poses longevity because this is a talent that can be around for a number of years and my father possessed that and even the band that he was within that he was in like crack of dawn was they were way ahead of the game like out here like mm -hmm. they were like earth wind and fire level for real right you know what i'm saying like if you've ever heard the record and i know you're like mr <laughs> you got wax on everything <laughs> i actually don't have the wax for it but i definitely have done like those guys were doing it really well it was it was def it was it they was way there. ahead of what yeah. of anything that any black artist was doing out here i mm -hmm. mean with respect to, like o oscar peterson is in a, ho a whole nother genre a whole nother level exactly but for r&b soul music mm -hmm. it, it was it was just it was different it was way ahead and you know certain disappointments and n not having the right people around it it kind of it had discouraged my father and he became a little disheartened by it mm -hmm. and you know for a little while you know he, he uh he kind of lost his way for a minute and as a result i didn't have him in my life for a little while right well fortunately by the grace of god um you know he he has been now but it was like there was an 18 year gap he oh, moved okay. back to to jamaica I believe. yeah he was he was in jamaica yeah. and he was he was still recording you know what i'm saying and, and and doing what he had to do but he was you know it, it, I know it was a struggle for him He's got a lot of stories man But he's a survivor You know what mm, I'm saying and, Definitely and, and yo man Like honestly One of the dudes That forged the way For, for R&B In Canada okay. You know and, you, and you're and you taking that torch And moving with it Um, A moment for a lot of people When they talk about Glenn Lewis If you are a part of the city And have been around for a minute It's A, a specific show called Electric Circus um, <laughs> oh man, are you kidding me? Dude? A lady by the are name of Monica me? Dio. Come on, Doc. Are, are we really about to do this? And a group called Boys <laughs> to Men. Wow. And it, it was one thing for me to turn on the TV. I didn't know Glenn at the time, but yeah. it was one thing for me to turn on the TV. Boys to Men, Monica Dio. And back then, for those who don't know, Electric Circus was really a urban, yeah. a hip hop, reggae, uh, everything that was all about yeah. the music. Yeah, back then. The That's out. all we had. Yeah, yeah. main yeah. source. It was, that, there. it was that and tuning into like tuning into the radio station in Buffalo. Remember them days? Y'all yeah. you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You had to tune into Buffalo because, you know, yeah, we didn't yeah, have fun. Yeah, we yeah. didn't have nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So. But, but moving to this now, I turn on the TV. We got Boys to Men. It's great to see them performing. Really cool. Like, Boys to Men. This is like Motown Philly mm -hmm. doing their thing. This is like that year. It's like yeah. 92, 93. Yeah. It's about to end the show. <laughs> and these dudes from this city grabbed the mic. I guess Boys to Men gave them the mic. And all and these just these dudes from Toronto start singing. And there's this one guy like in a I believe it was like a red <laughs> like a red outfit wow. that just like was really like just just did it and you were like, who the hell is that guy? You know, and that was my first introduction to Mr. Glenn Lewis. Talk about that situation because you ended up meeting Boys to Men off of that. Oh yeah. I actually man, it's so crazy, man. When I tell you the world was already small to begin with, and it got a whole lot smaller with like right you know, MySpace, Facebook. All oh that yeah, point. yeah, yeah. But man, if, you know, it's so funny. Go from six degrees of separation to like one or two. But it's, it's tripped out because the time that I did that, um, 
But who, what, first off, first oh, off, okay, first off, ahead, what possessed you to think you could get on an ex- electric circus? <laughs> and that actually was insane. Because <laughs> there wasn't a lot of people that, that could have done that. So that tell thing. us the whole story. Okay, here's the deal. I was, um, it was that thing of, you know, you hungry, you don't care who you got to sing for. Mm-hmm. You don't care what you got to do mm-hmm. to get heard. You're going to do it. And it so happened at the time, oh my gosh, he's going to kill me. Because I know right now he's like a big executive. So if he listening, he'll be like, oh, oh, is that what it is, Glenn? Oh, you forgot my name now. George Papa something. Papadopoulos. Something. It's a Greek name. I don't know. It's I don't good. mean to mess it up. Good. I think Sorry, Papadopoulos bro. was the guy from Webster. But go ahead. It was Go ahead. Anyway, okay. <laughs> whatever. So he actually hooked it up. Yeah. He was like, all right, man. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you sing for boys and men. I was like, oh, cool. And my boys from like this was when I was Malvern days, just cool. This group back. Yeah, yeah. Know the deal. Yeah. Y'all yeah. don't even yeah. know the deal. It's real history here. Anyway, just cool. Um, they came up and they was like, hey, Glenn, man, can we sing with you? And at first I was like, ooh, we ain't really get a chance to work nothing out. So it's really gonna be off the cuff and it'd be crazy. And um, I wasn't sure if it was gonna work out, but it's my it's my dudes. Like we came up, so it's like, yeah, man, come on. You know what I mean? So we, uh, you know, we grab the mics <laughs> and we start singing. It's, it, you know, what I'm saying you just going for it. You, you don't know, you don't necessarily know what's gonna come out because your nerves is like in a bind, and you just like, oh, but you just and it's, it's your chance think. because yeah. if Boys to Men on national te- television says, damn, y'all can go. You know how you know how this country coastline, is. Sa- sadly, exactly. Yeah. Sadly, I mean, it's pretty much anywhere you go, yeah. but particularly here. Unfortunately, sometimes we have to hear an American validate yeah. something before they say, oh, oh yeah, that nice. nice. Yeah. Oh, oops. I'm sorry. Let's keep, <laughs> moving. Let's keep moving. But that person yeah. is dope. You know what I'm saying? You you feel me? Like, yeah. yeah. You know. What happened off of that then? Well, I mean, really, not a whole lot developed from that. I, I got the number for their uh, for their road manager at the time that I had, he had unfortunately passed. But, um, you know, it was the beginnings. You know what I'm saying? It was the beginnings of networking yeah. and, and getting my name out there and and just making it happen, man, on, you know, any which way possible. But it was great exposure. It was one of those things I look back on it. I, I, you look back and you kind of embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? You think about stuff. You know, you own, you're your own worst critic. Yeah. But, you know, it was one of those moments that I look back and I'm like, wow, I got I got an opportunity. When you really look about look back on it, it's like it's a blessing. I got an opportunity to mm. to share the mic with boys to men. And my Put it on YouTube, dude. Put Yo, it on if YouTube. anybody's <laughs> got a copy of that Electric Circus tape, give us a call, please. <laughs> I, I'm not joking because I mean, with, for me, it's with it's the really full about... on red blazer and the red fitted. Yeah. Wow. I was full. I was yeah, boys yeah. to yeah. men <laughs> out, dude. I was yeah. really trying to like, hey, y'all, if y'all need a fifth member, I'm I'm here. I'm good. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just let me. No.